old man, how will you handle me? I mean, you will make me old as well. Even my looks will look old. Hi guys, it's a girl Ella Matams, also known as Girl Bazette. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for more than 40,000 subscribers. I am so grateful that you come to my YouTube channel to watch my videos every time you have spare time and you're supporting my YouTube channel, Natotela Sana. In this video, we'll be talking about Mr. Lucas who has murdered his son because he found his son having an affair with his wife. This is Mr. Lucas over here, an elderly man who lives in a residential area called Kablonga, which is an area in Zambia that is for the affluent. And this is the woman that he found with his son. You can see the woman is quite young, a diva-ish, looking like a slay mama. And this is his son, Mike, who is now demised. May his soul rest in peace. I picked up on this story because I just wanted to address one or two things here that I thought if I brought to YouTube, we can talk as a family. First of all, Mr. Lucas married somebody who looks so young. And from what I can tell, she married this man because of his money, like many, many other women do. And the son, Mike, has been having an affair secretly. And his son, Mike, has been having an affair with his wife. I I'm trying to think through things. There is so many possibilities here. Was Mike the reason why this woman met the father, Lucas? Or was this affair started between the father and the woman and then the son got involved and found himself sleeping with this woman? This is what happens when a woman marries a man when there is no love. You marry someone because you just want to be looking divorced. You want to be looking like a slave queen. And yet there is no love whatsoever. Now, this is a woman who has destroyed a family. A family of a father and son. A son who decided to sleep with his father's wife. And for me, I'm thinking, where is the respect here? I know the boy shouldn't have been murdered. The young man shouldn't have been murdered. But for a fact that you know this is your father's woman, what were you thinking sleeping with him, with, with, with uh, your father's wife? What were you thinking sleeping with your father's wife? For what? You know, um, for goodness sake, where is the respect? Just because she's classic looking, beautiful, does not warrant you to go and sleep with your father's wife. I mean, I'm sure the father must be thinking, what type of a son is this that can disrespect me to this level? And these are the things we always talk about on social media, where even young kids, they just insult everybody. They don't even care who you are. There is no respect at all. When we look at even the values of the Bible, honor your father and mother. Whether this woman is younger than your father or younger than you or your same age, for the fact that this woman was your father's wife, she re deserves the respect. Accord her that respect and not you trying to sleep with her in some lodge somewhere in Kablonga. In as much as this woman might have been the one who enticed you because she needed a young blood to sleep with, you could have told your father about it, warned him that I don't like the way this lady is making advances towards me. But you decided to go for your father's wife. 
a big abomination a big abomination this man is the reason why you're on this earth and then you also go and enter where your father enters uh -uh, why it's disgusting can you imagine that where your father enters is where you also want to enter uh -uh. no shame at all no fear at all it's so sad that Mr. Lucas reacted so badly by even murdering his own son and the boy now is in a mortuary somewhere. And the lady has run away. I mean, she has no case here. She didn't touch anybody. She didn't kill anybody. But at the end of the day, if that man is incarcerated, obviously he will be for murder. As long as she's a legal wife, who's going to inherit everything? She will. Because there's nothing like, oh, infidelity and blah, blah, blah. The fact remains that she is still your legal wife and then you've done the wrong things by even um, murdering the son. Where are we going to as a world? And why do women marry men that they don't even love? You marry somebody so mature. I myself have been approached by a 50 year old man. Oh, you know what? I can look after you at this your stage where you have four children. You need a man that can look after you and the children. And I was like, I don't need an elderly man that I will never love. I'm young. I've got fresh blood. I want fresh blood that can carry me up there. Not you old man how will you handle me i mean you make me old as well even my looks will look old i've seen women who are married to elderly men not all women i'm just saying one or two women that i've seen married to elderly men that even carry themselves like grandma uh -uh, i'm still young i don't need an old man for my life so it's, it's a lesson in so many ways that you know don't be desperate as a woman to marry somebody just because they've got money if there's no love don't marry them there's so many young men out there that can marry you for love that can take care of you and why is it that young women are looking for men who are ready made so that they could slay it's all about laziness you can make yourself a great woman on this earth as long as you put your mind to it this universe favors us I've shared before that I am selling my own branded makeup. This lipstick I'm wearing is called Vota Red. And that's how it looks like. Beautiful You by Lele Motans. I didn't need no man. This perfume that I'm selling, Desire, is by Lele Motans. I didn't need no man. It takes you to use your brain. It takes you to be focused. It takes you to... Lay down your vision and God will make it possible for you. There are so many job opportunities that have come along my way just for me to raise my capital. Why? Because I have told myself this is what I want to achieve and the universe favors you. I believe in the law of attraction in as much as we pray. But the law of attraction is also important. You attract what you desire in your life. Not sitting the whole day on Instagram scrolling and admiring people and say oh, hey, hey let me bath and go out no you start looking at what products you can sell what can i do on this earth what is my talent and all those things that you desire in your life will come to pass eventually do not never be in a hurry to achieve anything now this slay mama has put a family in jeopardy that's a funeral for two people i mean this father is in prison the son is no more. In as much as you'll be having the burial programs and everything, this woman, I'm sure, should be nowhere to be seen. It's so sad for Mr. Lucas that he made the wrong choice by trusting a young woman. And even you men, I know you may have all the money in the world to marry whichever woman you want. There are so many golden girls. I call them golden girls. Women above 50 who are either widowed, divorced, or are just single go to the right places go to churches mingle with the right golden girls there's also dating sites for golden girls where you can get a golden woman a golden lady that is in her 50s that just wants a man for company not a man to be used for achievement in life because you are coming from poverty and that is why when you watch Nigerian movies, I love Nigerian movies, by the way, you would see storylines of the rich saying, no, you will not marry this poor person. These are the reasons. 
These are some of the reasons. Because if somebody is being taken from poverty and being taken to the wealthy lifestyle, what do you think they'll do? Their mind will blow. They've never experienced such type of exposure. So they will even start experimenting and doing all sorts of things. So men, be careful as well. You are also victims of such type of women because you flash money. You show money, especially African men. You have a problem just because you have money. You think you can marry any woman you want. We have a case of Regina Daniels and Ned Nwoko, the Nigerian superstar who has married a 60 year old man. And she was only about 19, 20 years old. And because he has the money, she is the sixth wife. Uh -uh. <laughs> I know people say it's her choice. It's her life. Please. Happiness is very important. It's not about just marrying somebody because the person has got money and you are living in this private jet lavish life, Range Rover. There is no rush into you being successful. You know, the best success in life is the one that you achieve yourself. It is sweeter because you don't owe anybody any explanation. You don't even give any glory to anyone. Say, ah, if it wasn't for this man, I would be poor. But if it wasn't for God, I would not be where I am. That is what you should be saying. But you'll be there looking for every rich man on the internet. If Let me say it in, in, in English because some people will be wondering. As, you know, as long as these women don't see a man with money, ah, they will chase after this man. Every woman is looking for a man that will sort out her problems because I need to stay on Instagram. I am growing old. People need to see me. And this is another thing that I observed even from the community of Africans where we lived in Reading, where a particular country, I won't mention, they are even challenging each other. They challenge each other up to today. You know, if this person buys a a car this one also buys a car if this person buys a new furniture new whatever in the house this one also buys there's like competition and with this social media where people can even pause and show you say hey we are doing okay it's even making things worse so don't find yourselves in this predicament just because you want to be happy happy you want to be successful because you've met a rich man What's the point of marrying a rich man and you're not happy? You're still looking for another man to satisfy you. Because if you were happy with your, with your husband, you wouldn't have gone after his son in a hotel. And that's disrespect as a woman. Where are your values after this man has paid bright price on you? After he has committed himself and said he will love you. And then you go and sleep with his son. Ah, ah, women. Can we learn to respect ourselves? This is the reason why people even tarnish our names they just say oh women are the same i know it's not a fact but people just say all sorts of things because of what one person will do you know if you want a rich man work hard for yourself make yourself rich not looking for wealth elsewhere so it's a sad situation for mr lucas and mike who is no longer on this earth and obviously it's an embarrassment to mike his friends on social media obviously are wondering ah, ah so you were doing things with your father's wife uh -uh. your father's wife your father's wife i mean come on you can do better than that there's so many slay queens out there i mean for a boy coming from a wealthy family so many women will just be throwing themselves at you but you had to choose your father's wife ah, so sad so it's a very very sad situation and don't be desperate it's not worth it it's a girl and I'm a times also known as Get Over Z. See you on my next video.